In this slot, I'll show you how to replace a very long index match formula to the short one xlookup, and we will do it dynamic. Let's get started. Here we have our summary data and what we will need is to copy the revenue and the target per each month here from the revenue and from the target sheet by this way that when we will change the months here this data will be updated automatically and we will do this calculation dynamic. So before to do it we use the function index with match. How we did it? We type index here and the array we choose from revenue, we choose the full range and block with F4, lock it right, and then comma and here in row number we start with match and then lookup value will be we go back to summary and we start with the column and the first one is Mario and then comma and the lookup array will be this one because the Mario we will choose from this column right we lock it F4 comma and then exact match we choose the zero exact match, close bracket, comma, and now we need to do the same but uh, by months. So we start again with match and the lookup value, this one will be go to summary, choose the revenue, which is months, right? So we go here, lock it because we will not change this cell we will change on the, the value in this cell. So we lock it, we lock it with a four comma, and then the lookup array will be revenue and here because the months we will choose from this row, right? We lock it a four comma, and we choose exact match, and then close parentheses and again and click on enter, and here we have. Let me put the, the correct format and click down and let me check if it is OK, Mario, it is uh, 23 thousand. Let me go back to uh, our revenue sheet and we check that yes, it's OK. And Olga, for example, is this one. Let's choose Olga. Yes. And let's see how it work and let's change it and put February. And we see that everything is changed. Let me check again. Mario, 10,000 and yes, it works. And the same we will do with target. Now we see that everything works and also we need to add here data validation, the drop down menu instead of uh, change it easily, by easily way. We will add here one sheet, uh, put it by dragging in the last one, name it as calculation for example, and let's put here the, um, the months. And I will copy all months from here, Ctrl C and put it here and right click paste special value and transpose and by this way we have our months and we need to change the format select any format of the months uh, format painter go to calculation and paste it here 
and we have this month, then we go to summary, choose the month, go to data tab, then choose data validation. And from here, what we will do is to choose list, the source, click on source, go to calculation, select everything and click on OK. By this way, you can change it by easily way and you see that everything will be changed as well right okay so now we will see how to do it using xlookup so let me copy all of these ctrl c ctrl v here and this one as well ctrl c ctrl v and let me select the borders and instead of using index we will use xlookup and it will be more easily to uh, to work with let me add here also the achievement the achievement will be revenue divided uh, by target right so and we can change it and, and put as percent and uh, click down and we have here the achievement. I will copy the achievement as well here because nothing will be changed in this formula. And we will add here the uh, data validation as well. We'll go to data, data validation. And from here we will choose list and the source. We will go to calculation and choose our calculation as well. And click on uh, uh, okay, and by this way we have this uh, drop down menu as well. So we'll go to revenue and we will replace the full this formula for the simplest one, which is xlookup. We type xlookup, the lookup value will be always this one, which we change um, automatically, right? And uh, put comma, and then the lookup array, we will go to the revenue. And here, this one is our lookup array because in this array, we will choose our months. And then click on comma and the return array will be our value we are, using, uh, we are looking for. And then close parenthesis, click on enter. And here, please see that everything is filled automatically till the end of the table, right? Let's do the same with target, xlookup, lookup value, our months, then comma, array will be go to target, choose our months, comma, and the return will be from our all value table, and click on enter and here we see that it is completely filled automatically the and the achievement is uh, filled as well and let me copy the format here home format painter and paste it here and uh, let's see how it works let's choose any month let's say august and we see that it's completely much right let's choose another one for example june and from here, Ju oops, not July, not June. And you see that everything works properly. So the only thing here is that you need to be careful because if you go here to the index match formula, you can see that it is added in every cell we have here. So if we will remove anyone from here, for example, delete, it will be removed. I go back, control Z. Instead of this, if you will go here, you can see that when you uh, click on any cell of here, the total column is selected. And, but only in the first cell is writing the formula. If you go here, you do not see the formula highlighted. It is in, in, the, in not bold color, right? Here you can see the difference you can see right so if you will remove any data will try to remove any data from all cells you cannot do it let's try for example delete nothing go here delete nothing but if you will remove from the first one 
all data will be removed. Let's see, I click on delete and everything will be deleted. I go back to Ctrl Z. So you cannot remove, but you can type anything in this data and by this way it will be uh, put it as error here, you see. But when you will remove it, everything will work back. So this one you need to keep in mind. And now please make the difference here between this large formula and this sh short one between this large and this easiest one. It is great, right? And that's all. Thank you for watching.